There are a ton of fitness apps out there that are completely a waste of time. Now, I've made plenty of videos on this channel around my favorite fitness apps, and there are definitely a few companies that reach out and say, hey, can you try it? We'll give you a free membership. And I'm like, absolutely not. Your app is straight up bad and it's not worth sharing with you guys. But there is one fitness app that I think is worth looking into because I've been using it over the last few weeks and I wanted to share my experience with you guys. Which brings us to today's sponsor, Future. Future is a one-on-one -on -one personal training app where they pair you with a credential fitness coach to help you with your health and fitness goals. And I have a special offer that you're gonna want to hear so make sure that you stay to the end of the video for that. Just to get this out the way, even though this video is sponsored by Future, they are very much well aware that this is an honest review of my experience, including things that I liked and the things that I don't like. When I went through the signup process, it was actually super, super simple. You go through a questionnaire that asks you different questions based off of, you know, what are your goals, your age range, do you have any injuries? And then they start asking more questions about the type of coach that you want. Do you want high energy? Do you want somebody who's a little bit more particular on specific type of workouts? So for me, I fed out all that information and then I was able to choose between the couple of coaches that I saw and I chose my boy Harrison. It just seemed like he had a really good approach to his training style. The next thing I had to do was download the future app onto my phone. And once I wrapped up all of that, the next thing it had me do was set up a FaceTime call with Harrison. How can I add the most value to your current training? You know, are you looking for more weightlifting from me? You know, are you looking to get into a certain kind of training with future? Now for my fitness coaching experience, Harrison was great and honestly, I really do believe a lot of the fitness coaches are probably like this as well. When I told him I had an injury, he gave me different exercises and movements that progressively got harder as I started to recover more. When I told him I wanted to focus on mobility and core, he added those to the workouts. He constantly checked in with me through messaging. One of the workouts that I ended up missing, he did reach out and say, hey, is everything good? You know, let's definitely get back on track. So just having that accountability made me feel like I was really progressing and making sure that I was completing the workouts because I didn't want to let him down. And then around a couple weeks in, we had a check-in call just to make sure that everything was working, if he needed to tweak the workouts. So it was just good to kind of have that touched base to make sure that I was still progressing and enjoying what I was doing. Now, in regards to the app experience, I was very, very impressed with the quality of the app itself. It was very simple, very clean. There's no ads, it wasn't buggy. And what's super cool is that everything is tracked within the app. You could basically see the different type of exercise that you have for the day. And when you open up each of the individual exercises, you can actually see a video showing you how to actually do the exercises. It even goes so much to show your heart rate throughout that workout. And all of these stats were also sent to Harrison so he could also see how I was performing as well. And then what I also love is that you can actually record yourself doing one of the exercises and send it to your coach to make sure that you're performing the exercise correctly and that can give you better cues of how to fix your form and things like that. And what's really cool is if you have an Apple Watch, you can actually control the workouts through your watch itself. You don't have to keep going to your phone to you know, move to the next exercise or the next workout. But let's be honest, not everything about the Future app was great. There were a few things that really did kind of bother me a little bit. The first thing is, it is only for Apple. I think they're working on an Android version, but if you're Android, you're out of luck. The second thing I didn't like was the fact that it doesn't work with other fitness trackers. Yes, it's great that it works with the Apple Watch, but let's say you have the Oura Ring or the Whoop, it doesn't matter, it doesn't get tracked in there. And then lastly, specifically with the app as well, the music, it's kind of finicky. Like, I don't know where they're grabbing the music from, but I like to use my own. And sometimes I felt like my music would play and then their music would play, it would cross over. So I just think that that functionality could be a little bit better. But those are very minor in the grand scheme of things. I think that those can be addressed in a simple software update. I thoroughly enjoyed the experience and it's something that I'm very much so considering keeping for the longer term. Now you're probably like, Noah, that is great, but how much does this app cost? And I'll be real with you, it is $149 a month, but before you get off of this video, I was actually able to get you guys a pretty good deal. If you go to tryfuture.co backslash Noah, you actually get your first month for $19. You're basically saving $130. You can get a dedicated experience fitness coach that will give you a personalized workout based off of your skill level, how much you have available to you, what your schedule looks like, and they will make sure that they hold you accountable to make sure that you're reaching your health and fitness goals. And then after that first month, if you decide that you wanna keep it, by all means, cancel it. I personally stand by it as a certified personal trainer and health coach. I believe in what they're doing. They're just making health and fitness more accessible to people through a digital medium. There's no robots making a random workout for you. You had a human being on the other side of that phone really helping to make sure that you stayed accountable for completing your workouts. And for me, 
Both of those things are very important to start seeing some sort of changes and results in your body. But I totally get it. There are a ton of free fitness apps that are out there as well. If you wanna see the ones that I love personally, check out this video right here. Stay healthy, be happy, and embrace the hype. Woo!